Do you know how to test the autopilot on an airplane? If you have a Garmin GFC 500 autopilot, like the one that's installed in our Piper Pilot 100Is, Piper requires that it's tested before you use it or the electric trim on the airplane. So how do you test it? Well, it's a lot simpler than people make it out to be. For the initial test, you don't even touch the autopilot at all. Right after turning your battery master on, the autopilot immediately begins a self-test, which is signified by this little PFT in your autopilot status bar. When the self-test is successfully completed, the little white PFT indication will disappear. If there was an issue with the self-test, you'd get a little yellow AP in this autopilot status bar, as well as a red X through the status bar as well as on your standby attitude instrument. Now for the secondary autopilot test, you need to see if you can use the autopilot disconnect button and if you can override the servos. Some people do the secondary test all the time while other people never do it because they think it can damage the servos, which it can if you do it the wrong way. So to test the servo override, you're gonna turn your autopilot button on, which is gonna put you into roll and pitch mode. In other words, it's gonna try to keep this yoke right where it's at. To override the roll axis, you're just gonna try to hold the yoke and try to roll a little bit slightly. I can definitely tell I'm overpowering it and I'm moving the ailerons as well. We'll call that a successful roll override test and then to test the pitch all you have to do is try to pull back or forth on that yoke and make sure you can move it which i definitely can i can sense that i'm much stronger than these little servos the problem in testing the override comes when people turn the autopilot on and then yank the controls against the servos that's a nice and quick way to break your servos lastly we need to check that the autopilot disconnect button on our yoke actually works so to do that we turn the autopilot on and then we just use the button to disconnect there we go very good and if the autopilot or servos ever act funny on you, all you have to do to de-energize the whole system is pull these two circuit breakers right here. That'll kill all electrical power to those silly little servos. You guys have any stories of the servos being stronger than you? 